What's up, cocksuckers out there? No excuses, people. No fucking excuses. I don't use them. I'm legally, legally disabled. I'm really disabled. My fuck, I landed on my head 40 feet. I had brain surgery. Until you have your head o cut open and stop the bleeding insides, if you survive it, like I was at a 50-50 chance, then you could talk shit. But I never use it as an excuse, ever. Worked for 10 more years. That three-month bid before that. Came off all the meds, went on all of them back again. Came off them. I got all forward. 50 fucking one months coming up on. No excuses. All you do is people that fucking talk shit out there, you're all haters. That's all you are. You won't say it to my fucking face because you will get dropped right away. And no one's going to be there to protect you no more. So any fucking time. You know what the fuck I am. Come on. You know where this is. I'm always around. I just never see nobody. I never see anyone running their fucking mouse, coming up, acting tough. They can't last 30 seconds, five minutes, 30 minutes, two hours, two and a half hours. Even in pain. My shots are very, very fucking good. Because both these hands, discombobulation. The eyes roll behind the fucking head. There are plenty of fucking witnesses. This happened so many times, it's fucking, actually, it's horrible, to be honest with you. But it would have been fucking me if it wasn't them. So, you know, I got that old two foot rule. Here's a, here's a good lesson for you. Don't ever let anyone come two feet or right in your fucking face. Head bottom right in the fucking nose. Their eyes will water up, right? Then it's, you know, Adam Vinatieri's, whatever the hell you want to fucking do. Bruce Lee's, Iron Mike's, Marvin Hagler's, switch it up. Rest in peace, marvelous Marvin Hagler. One of my biggest inspirations. Get out there and sweat, people, honestly. I'll live healthy, live healthy. Uh, rest in peace, R.I.P. Ray Leota, who played that rat fucking bastard fucking Henry Hill. Henry Hill, I hope you see this. You're a rat piece of shit. Just like Sammy the Bull, all you fucking mad. You guys are all fucking pussies. You guys all act tough and you guys rat. You guys are the biggest fucking rats in the world. Rats. These judges, these feds, these detectives, Quincy, Boston, they know I ain't no fucking rat. They couldn't even talk about break. They couldn't even bend me. All right? All you guys that talk shit, say everyone's rats, right? You guys are the fucking rats. You guys are the fucking rats. The truth is with lawyers, DAs, and judges, they know who the fucking rats are. Detectives know who the fucking rats are. CIs, whatever the fuck you call them now. Don't sell your soul. Don't do nothing wrong in the first place, right? Don't make the same mistakes I made back in the days, all right? I don't make those mistakes no more. See the Irish in me, the red already from the sun after an hour and a half. Another half an hour to go, people. And then I'll go home and lick my wounds all night. But I don't cry about it. Like, oh, my back. Oh, my back. My head. No, because I do it to myself. I'm in a constant war with myself in my head every single fucking day. And yes, uh, there's plenty of fucking times I look at my fucking running sneakers, my new balance, right? MBs representing Beantown where they're made, Burlington. Was it a new balance factory? Yeah, Brighton on new uh or uh, Burlington, one or the other, or Brighton. I've been there many times. I just forget. It's been a while. But New Balance, uh, like Mike Tyson called them, the 50 and over sneaker, right? But you don't have to feel 50. You feel like you're 30 or 20 again. You know, late 20s, early 30s. You know what I mean? I don't feel 51. With my injuries, I do. But I did that to myself, laying on my head. That's my own fault. You know, it's not my own fault. It was a fucking accident. <laughs> like grabbing the rail and gave on me. I went over my two dogs. That's it. You know, it was a fucking freak accident. But I, I survived it for a reason, because most people don't. As the operating surgeon said, most people don't survive that. You were strong. You fought to live, kid. That's what he told me. You fought to live. I was back in 2003, people. So get out there and sweat at least. Just go out there and walk, people. Like, you don't have to train like I do, man. I train like a fucking... I do all, like, you know, fighting exercise. You know, a lot of fucking... A lot of calisthenics, a lot of lean muscle stuff, you know, a lot of cardio, a lot of jumping rope, like everything, you know, see all my stuff there, like, you know, I, I do, like, different training, because lifting weights got boring for me when I was young, I, I, I reached all the goals, and then some, you know what I mean, so I'm like, fuck that, I need to fucking, I, I need to fucking, uh, yeah, I'm a competitive person, so I need to compete versus myself daily, like, every day, when I'm training, I'm competing, competing against myself and I'm thinking to myself all the time I'll never fucking lose I had this fucking uh, attitude when I was a young kid 
when I was fucking, I don't know, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, playing versus all the older kids and playing with all the older, older kids that I, that I still love to this day, all of them, you know what I mean? They always had my back as a young kid. I'll never forget that. I'll never, you know what I mean? I'll always have their backs. If they're ever in trouble, if I'm around, you know what I mean? I'll always have their backs. But uh, I, I was always the one to always have my friends' backs anyways. Because <laughs> once I got a little older, like, it was fighting grown men at fucking 16, 17, 18. You know, guys coming out of the fucking bar with liquid courage, you know? And they all get fucking hurt. So all these times I'm telling you about fights, it was all self-fucking-defense. I grew up uh, out of five corners, uh, busiest corners <laughs> in Quincy, uh, probably. <laughs> but that fucking, those streets are busy every fucking, it doesn't matter what time in the fucking morning there's people fucking driving from everywhere. Right right in from Boston, one fucking, two fucking, one exit fucking from Quincy is Boston. I mean, we're fucking two cities connected. So yeah, I sat on that corner till two, three, four in the morning, and it would be fucking three, four, five of us left out of fucking 100, 200. You know what I mean? Kincaid Park on the front of that wall, that wall right there, way at the end, the wall, the wall way at the end there. We used to all sit on that, and the big rocks up in the corner up there. We sit up there. You could you could see the cops coming from from Bruce Corner all the way down to fucking Brooks Road, and you could just see them all coming. They'd come, they'd raid, they'd come through the back, all kinds of shit. The back's uh, over this way, that way there. But yeah, they would uh, they would try to come in. Quincy, the Met, the Met, uh, uh, the Met Metropolitan Cops, and uh, the Stadies, like all three, would come in and try to fucking raid us all the fucking time, at least once a month. But we had to worry about Frankie C. Senior. The man upstairs, you know, he's up there now. God bless his soul, he's a great guy. But honestly, he was the fucking, you know what I mean? He knew shit. When I got caught for my armed robberies, they could say, the, the, the detective said, you got anything you want to tell Frank? I go, Frankie knows more than I fucking know. What the fuck would I have to tell him? And it, Frankie bought me the cell by himself, and he said, I'm going to try to get you a fucking TV for the Super Bowl this weekend. It was on Super Bowl weekend on a Friday. My mother ratted me out. My own fucking mother. Imagine that shit. All right. In the granite cock sucker 617. Subscribe. See this uh, monument right there? This is right across the street from uh, the th triple deck of my aunt and uncle. On. This is where I grew up from like one years old to like 10 or 11 years old. And then I moved to Bruce Corner. This is a nice neighborhood. It used to be. Still is. This still kind of is. I mean, there's nice, nice houses and stuff. They're all probably half million dollar houses now when they were like $100,000 fucking in the 90s. And... 200,000 yeah real estate stuff definitely the way to go people but uh yeah that's that's a, a monument uh for the vet veterans uh grateful tribute to the men and women who served that country to protect the cause of all freedoms and i remember those three stars at the bottom used to be red white and blue so before you talk shit about america right you better fucking get your facts straight you better be happy you're in a free fucking country. You better be happy you were fucking born here. Because most people don't get that fucking luxury. I, I, I get sick of hearing people bitch, 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 fucking petty little fucking cowards, man. Serious. Just shut your mouth and do your fucking job. Or do whatever the fuck you got to do. You know what I mean? Peace, people.